Well, you look... awful. I met Matt last year and we had discussed how much he had invested into Roblox, but it's only recently that I've really understood how serious his addiction is. I have to warn you, what you're about to see in this documentary will shock you. My name is Matt and I've been playing Roblox for about 13 years now. Super gross. And uh, so tell me, Matt, how did you find Roblox? Well, I used to play a lot of Barbie Girls online, but then it got shut down, so I sort of migrated here. Interesting. And how did that affect your life? I think the biggest thing that's changed is mom and dad stopped calling me gay. That's nice, although kind of problematic when I think about it. No, I meant how has playing Roblox affected your life. Oh, yeah. I guess I've become a little withdrawn. Since moving into his apartment at 18, Matt has lived in... There's no better word for it. Squalor. It's just that I spend a lot of time on Roblox, so what's the point in making my bedroom pretty? Now, I don't mean to offend you, but I have to ask. When is the last time that you've actually taken a shower? Officially? Um, quite a while, I'll admit, but I get really sweaty when I play Arsenal, so all that water on my face and hair and butt crack definitely has to count for something, I think. Hi, my name is Caster, and I'm Matt's BFFR. That's best friend from Roblox. We met playing Outlaster one night, and... <laughs> I don't know, I just kind of always thought he was cute. In a little brother kind of way, though. I mean, the guy constantly tries to hit on me. Not that I can blame him, I mean, look at me. But if we're being honest, I kind of think he needs professional help. So, you've known Matt longer than I have. Why do you think that is? The poor boy has internet brain rot. He spends a lot of his time on the RTC. Gag me with a stick. The RTC, or Roblox Twitter community is truly awful. It's one thing to tweet about Roblox here and there, but spending all day scrolling through its toxic waste dump will inflict at least 20 points of psychic damage, and seriously weaken your soul in the process. Don't listen to a word he says, okay? The RTC is awesome. It's like one big happy family. Except sometimes your uncle tweets a racial slur or tries to groom you. But it's okay, it's all, it's all happy and fun, happy and fun vibes. I'm actually dead on the inside. In order to help Matt face his addiction, I've hired a professional. This is Michael Stone. Yeah, I'm pretty much an expert at dealing with these kinds of things. Hey bud, are you Matthew? Sure am. <laughs> Good, then this'll be easy. Wait! All right, wait, stop it, just stop, stop, please. Why did I even hire you? Get out of here. You know, let's just... Stop the documentary, stop it please! I don't know why you people are so bothered that I play Roblox. Sure, I might spend more time than the average person online, but did it ever occur to you that maybe it's my coping mechanism? My real life isn't so great, in case you haven't noticed! Dude, I know life can be crappy, but you can't spend all of it on a video game. I understand how hard it can be to take that first step, that first exceedingly hard step into the unknown water of life. It's terrifying, it's, it's painful, but you have to keep moving. It might not get better for a long time, and I understand those first few miles will hurt your feet so bad that you want to fall over. But, man, if you just keep walking, I have faith that you will eventually find yourself in a better place. Because look around you. If you stay here and never leave your house again and just focus on Roblox, nothing will ever change. You'll still be playing the game. Yeah, that's comforting, I guess, but you're ignoring the root of the issue. I just, I just want you to feel better, and I really hope that maybe this speaks to you. Wow. I just realized, it's 8 o'clock! I think I just missed my daily login reward. 